All right. So again, the idea that you can put a dome underwater that separates the water from the water and you can have living organisms within that dome grow is not science fiction. It's not just from my imagination. It's being done on a small scale. All right. But before we go a little bit further, let's just take a look at um, the true meaning of paradise, because often when we think about the Garden of Eden or we think about heaven, we think about it as a paradise or rather religious texts have presented it to us as a paradise. Um, paradise is important because, you know, I love my definitions and, you know, I love my etymology. And I want to one more time do a comparison of what paradise has come to mean to many of you versus what it actually means. Okay. So paradise, a place or condition of great happiness where everything is exactly as you would like it to be from the Cambridge Two, heaven, the place where some people believe you go when you die, if you have lived a good life from the Macmillan. And three, a state of complete happiness from Miriam. So again, I know many people within particular cultures, we don't say rest in peace. We will say rest in paradise. But now I don't say rest in peace or I, and I don't say rest in paradise. I don't even say rest. I just say go have fun wherever you're going. Because what is paradise? And I think... For those of you who don't know, I think you'll be very surprised as to what paradise really means. Take a look at your screen. All right. So the etymology of paradise from Old English, the Garden of Eden from the Old French Paradise. Paradise, Garden of Eden. OK, we know that again. Heaven, Garden of Eden, paradise. Let's go back further from the 11th century. Latin, a park, an orchard. The Garden of Eden. Okay. Let's keep going. A park, a paradise, an enclosure. Okay. Now we're getting there. Uh, let's see what else do we have. We have to make, to form a wall. One more time. Let me just start over. Paradise, the Garden of Eden. Okay. Paradise, a park, an orchard, the Garden of Eden. Okay. An enclosure, a park. Okay. And then to make or to form a wall. Okay. Paradise, an orchard or royal hunting park in Persia. And it takes it was taken from the Sputagent to mean the Garden of Eden. All right. An orchard or royal hunting park in Persia. And it was taken in the Sputagent to mean the Garden of Eden. So now this even goes a bit further because the Greeks used it as an orchard or a royal hunting park. Okay. How does that differ from how you may have come to understand paradise or what paradise has been taught to you to mean? That's very stark in contrast. It doesn't seem like paradise has anything to do with an ideal condition. Paradise is not a utopia. Paradise is not um, a place where you go. Paradise is the place where we are. It's a park. It's an enclosure. Okay. So between the King James version, the tree of life version, the Lexham version, even the meaning of paradise, they're all telling you that we are closed into some type of dome and there is something beyond this enclosure.